Hello everybody and welcome to a new video on how to run on the how to run uh, series. Today we're going to be talking about Lauren, the light cowgirl. She's an amazing monster. She's also a free to play monster. And uh, I'm going to talk I'm going to tell you guys how to run her and where to use her. Uh, she is amazing for RTA, that's for sure. Siege defense, she works pretty well and she can be used in giant B10. And I'm using her in giant B10. Um, I got fed up with Galleon, um, yeah, it does a lot, Lauren gets defense break, either she uses the skill 1 or skill 2, the defense break on her passive, so it works. Guys, before I go ahead, don't forget to like and sub to the channel if you want to see more videos like that and uh, help improve the channel. Anyway, uh, what I was saying is, Lauren is a great monster, you can use Definitely on RTA, that's what I focus on anyway, but definitely in Giant, and I'll show you how, and uh, in Siege defense. For RTA, there is two builds. You can build that on Violent or on Swift. Um, I'll show you the both builds. I have the Violent one for Siege, and I have the Swift one for RTA. I'm not sure which one I prefer, but I'm gonna show you the, the start and the, the runes. So this is the Balin uh, set, Balin um, build. Lauren on Balin can win your games. If Lauren Balin pro in RTA or whenever, whatever, she's basically denying a turn to two of the opponent monster. And that's pretty OP. As you're doing four v four and you deny two turns to two of the opponent monster, that's kind of a four v two for at least one turn. So it's a good advantage. Um, I like Combalion because she procs, she can win your game, she can really, really clutch it up. Also, if she gets stunned, frozen, or slapped, she can proc out of it and still do her job. Um, so that's the Balin set, the Balin build. I would say, as an offset, I would either go Balin, uh, Will, sorry. Nemesis is decent, Revenge is pretty OP because she's gonna get focused or uh, focus is not bad because you're gonna need the accuracy on her so this is the violent build and uh, yeah the stats you're gonna shoot for is high speed good hp good defense and uh, decent accuracy i would say over 50 percent at the very least so as much speed as you can i haven't mind full grinded here i can get it to plus uh, to 280 speed i'm missing some violent grinds Cohesion, right? <laughs> Everyone is looking for those. Um, but yeah, high HP, high defense. I would like some more defense here, but that's what I could get. Uh, bear in mind her base defense, uh, her base HP are really low, so it's gonna be hard to make her tanky. Also, she gets defense broken. It's pretty much like it's gonna be gone in no more than two hits anyway. So yeah, bear that in mind. Try to get her tanky though. Try to get her with high speed and with accuracy. So that's the, um, the violent build. I'm gonna show you my sweet build, which I'm using in RTA. Um, I don't know, I would probably lean towards, a bit more towards the violent build, it clutch up more things. But if you're trying to have a one-shot comp in RTA, the sweet one could be the way to go. Again, high HP, well, some good HP, some good defense, good speed, and decent accuracy. Uh, I would like some more accuracy, I would like more speed, but I'm testing her out, so yeah. Um, I've given my best, no, I don't think it's the best Swift set to Chivo, but yeah, I could make her faster, really. Um, I'm gonna keep on trying her out, though. Um, Swift set, as I was saying, works pretty well as well, and for like one-shot comps, like, in a comp where you're trying to kill straight away one, at least one of the opponent monster, she works really well. I feel like her best friends are Daphnis and Water Monkey, which are monsters that I don't have. Um, or monsters that really hurt, hit really hard. Um, I'd say Zeratu would be really good, but obviously that's a Latin Dive monster, so hard to get. I like her, but should, uh, would need to be really, really fast. Unless you're using a Swift Bird Hill, let's say. So maybe Lauren, Swift Bird Hill, and then some damage dealer. 
that could one shot something straight away yeah that could work actually yeah that would work so something like that would work Daphnis I know it doesn't need a defense breaker but sometimes she missed the strip and the defense break so maybe using her as an insurance policy would be really good also sometimes people use um, Nemesis Triana to counter Daphnis maybe she can just defense break the Triana and the Daphnis is gonna kill her or uh, Water Monkey same she defense plays something Water Monkey just gonna like skill free it's gonna one shot something if runes properly decently it's gonna kill something now that's how I would use her in RTA also some, another comp I would recommend is her and Verde here I would say Sweet Verde would be best in that case but even Violent Verde here would work her and Verde here in the same team can be really really dangerous to face um, you're gonna get so many more turns than your opponent unless they one shot one of the two and you're gonna have higher chances of winning your game so that's how I would use that in RTA I'm gonna show you as well how uh, hold on before I go for that I just want to show her skills and uh, her passive which made her really really OP uh, the first he the first uh, skill is the opponent three times and that's 30 percent chance to slow the enemy for two turns so uh, speed debuff I feel like it's underrated speed debuff in RTA is really OP that's how I feel about it second skill hits twice and that's uh, when you skill it up at 75 percent of stripping for each hit so I can strip two buffs and also put the HP, uh, the hit block debuff on the opponent. 75% chances of stripping is not super high, but it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. That's why you need the accuracy on her. So strips is really good on her. It's hard to strip monsters that have more than one debuff, so she hits just twice. But it's an extra strip. The, the passive is one maker, really, really good though. 20% decrease of a tough bar for each hit. So skill one is gonna decrease 60%, plus it's slow debuff, and skill two is gonna uh, decrease by 40%, and the defense break for one turn with a 75% chances. She's gonna defense break because she hits three times and two times, 75% chances on a monster that don't have any will, doesn't have will is gonna defense break if you don't give her like 20% only accuracy if you go over 50 she's gonna defense break uh, so the passive is amazing decrease attack bar by 20% each hit uh, each hit and 75% chances of defense break she's an amazing monster as I said she's free to play so please build one and the skill, 18% uh, attack power increase. She's not amazing, but if you don't have any other leader skill, you probably wanna use it. So yeah, you is an extra, is an extra. You're probably not gonna use that. That's not what makes her OP, but it's an extra. So you are, you still have a leader skill. Giant, that's what I use. As I said, I'm not using Galleon anymore in Giant because it derps way too much. I know Lucian derps a lot as well. He, he derps a lot. But Lauren is going to defense break anyway. So that's how we go. Lean doesn't even need a top buff anyway. Um, the Shard with skill 2 don't really need attack buff I know attack buff increase the, the damage by a little bit but yeah they don't really really need it a good Lucian and those three works pretty well it's kind of it's not well it's not really free to play but you could use a study to second my best was 20 20.40 20 which is pretty fast I'm fine with that at least if you don't have to shy you can use so uh it's so high right no a rank, a rank, my bad. You can use this. She is really hard as well. And if you don't have lean, um, 
I'm sure there is other monster you could use. Actually, you could build this. Second Awakened Master card win is amazing. She is really, really hard. But yeah, there you go. Giant Vita. For, um, for Siege defense, I've seen a lot of like Kumon, Lore, and Triana. It's a pretty good one. Obviously, Kumon needs to be on crit damage to do some some damage. Triana crit damage would be amazing as well. But yeah, so the defense spray, uh, denying or denial of a turn to the opponent. Kumon is gonna hit pretty hard. Triana crit damage is gonna hit pretty hard. Triana heals the shield of Kumon. Speed buff of Kumon. It's a really good siege defense. So anyway. That's the end of the video. Guys, Lori is a free-to-play monster. It's a line monster, so she's not gonna glance up on anything unless she has the glance in debuff. And then she could she could glance, but uh rule of thumb, she's not gonna glance on anything. Build her tanky, uh build her the violent or swift. I'd say try to go revenge as an offset. It should be I mean that is the best one. Auto will would be good, Nemesis is not bad, and focus is okay as well, so you get the accuracy from that, or most of it from that. Anyway, that's the end of the video guys, I hope you really enjoyed it, I hope it could help you, uh, I hope now you have a clearer idea on how to run Lauren, be that though, she's a pin RTA, she's a pin Siege as well, and Giant, she's really good, also you can use that in the new BJR5 team, she's really good there as well, so yeah, be that Lauren. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to sub to the channel, and leave a like, leave a comment as well. Uh, for whatever you want to say or for whatever other monster you want to see the spotlight on the next video. Sub to the channel and support the channel, guys. It's free anyway. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.